Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adinho here and welcome to a new video. I want to be playing this team one more time. <laughs> one more time, guys. One more time. It's going to be a meme on this channel. I'm sorry, but... Again, the last video, really unsatisfying. Like, And it all comes down to one thing. Hurricane, man. Freaking Hurricane. Hurricane literally loses me games. <laughs> But it, some sometimes it can win you games if you if you can connect the move. So I, I want to see if we can get a satisfying game in, uh, a satisfying video in with this uh, with this team one more time. So uh, yeah, check out the team on Patreon if you are interested in this team. Other than that, that's been performing pretty well. <laughs> if we can hit the moves, um, yeah. Let's see you guys. We're playing into a rain team with Ludicolo, which is the worst possible matchup for us, man. <laughs> oh, God. Literally the worst possible matchup for us. <laughs> this might be a this might be a wrap, man. I'm still going to try to lead it with this guy. And uh, let's just pray we, that we can confuse the Excadrill or something. <laughs> but I think we are going to lose this game to Ludicolo. Kind of sweeps us. I'm going to lie. That's a really old rain team as well. But I'm going to try to lead with Zapdos. Like rain teams without Ludicolo are fine. Ludicolo is not something you see that much either. But I'm just going to tr try to throw off my Hurricane here on the Excadrill coming in. Um, if for some reason he doesn't. It would be so funny if I have Weather Ball on this guy. Like legit. <laughs> just clicking Weather Ball here and just blowing Excadrill up. But let's see if we can uh, confuse this. I haven't gotten a single confusion into confusion with this uh, team. So might be rough. Might be rough. But yeah, I'm going to bring in Serp now. And I'll, I'll probably just debug immediately because he could bring in Scizor on the rocks. If he get if he doesn't get up rocks, we will we will glare. Oh nice, now I can glare. That's the first that's literally the first hurricane confusion I got in this game, so. Oh, nice! Oh! I was so wor worried about this thing as well. Can I 2-hit KO him with Leaf Storm? That's, that's actually amazing that he went Ludicolo on me. Yeah, that should be a 2-hit KO. I'm, go I'm going for it because I have no switch in for this. I didn't think he would bring this in, but this is really helpful for me. I'm not even gonna overpredict in this situation. I'm a. We're looking really strong here. Even if he goes Scizor, I'm gonna get a plus two Leaf Storm on Scizor, and otherwise we just kill Ludicolo, which is the biggest threat to our team. So, amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking really good for us. Um, there's something I would like to know. Because <laughs> we, we see Scizor. Because I think I might be able to survive. Guys, I might be able to survive this one second. Yeah, guys, it's a 12% chance that I would survive this. I'm going for this. Look at the V! Check out the EV spread on Patreon, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. So if we go Zapdos right now. Okay. 
Because here's the thing, we're, we're counting the rain turns right now. So the rain is going to end on this turn. He goes Excadrill, and this means that I get a 2-hit KO on his drill, so that's gonna be nice. Because I have a little surprise for him. I have a little surprise for him, man. Yeah, everything went south for him the moment he switched Ludicolo in on the glare. Yeah, okay, so... Just don't miss, Zepdos. Please don't miss. Now he doesn't get rocks, and he has to bring in Pelipper. <laughs> he has to bring in Pelipper, which means he has to tank a Hurricane. But I will probably just full switch. Or he just goes straight into Kingdra. That works. I get off my Volt Switch anyway. Unless he wants to suck Pelipper right now. But I don't think that makes sense. So since my gas are on hard walls, Kabutops, I am going to sack Superior. Because Kingdra doesn't have the rain up, so I'm curious to see what he clicks. Exactly. Because, like I said, guys, gas are done hard walls, Kabutops. So now we can pursue this. He's at minus two special attack. Now Pelipper comes in. And we keep Scissor in the back as a tool. I'm just gonna go Gallade. Mm -hmm. That way, Kabutops cannot set up a sword stance. Daiki can't go Kabutops into me, but I will not allow Kabutops to go for a sword stance versus me. So I'm just gonna Sacred Sword. The best thing he can do, Swords Dance, hope that I go Gastrodon. Because if I went Gastrodon here, he would just lose so much. Like, I feel like he should be trying something. But now I can just go this. And we can just Scald him. To make sure he's in range of Scissor. Like, this, this is one of the biggest counters to Kabutops. And if he goes Spelipper, he's gonna waste a rain turn. If he goes Scissor, Scissor is going to die. Like, he, he put him ri That's why you don't switch in your wing condition. That's why you don't switch in your wing condition into an incoming attack. Like, he had the rain up. Like, he was better off just going into his full HP scissor, right? Going to his full HP scissor. Yeah, this is the only thing he can do, but I'm just gonna try attempt to get up rocks here. Which, which is not happening. That sucks. But I think he's already in range of Bullet Punch. So basically what I can do here is... if Even if he kills me on Gastrodon, I can go into Zapdos, click Volt Switch. I still get my turn. And meanwhile, we are stalling out the rain turn, so, um... That is pretty nice. I can go Zapdos here, though. If he doesn't get the confusion, it's game over. <laughs> but they are always able to get it for some reason. Oh, that doesn't matter at this point. He has to hope that I don't get it. I'm gonna go Scizor. <laughs> I, I, I swear, guys, Iron Jesus doesn't want me to win. You know what they're saying? God gives his toughest battles to his toughest so soldiers.
I can just go Gastrodon again. If I have Gastron in for Skabutops, it's already gonna be good. Oh, I didn't know the rain was ending. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gone Zapdos. That's why we need that timer. That's fine. Just need to get up rocks. Yeah, we just get this guy in and yeah, he's gonna be in one hell of a pain if I don't get confused here. This is literally delaying the game, me getting confused all the, all the turns. At least it's not happening now. So why not? I was... Oh, well, gas run is full. But I guess I can just do it. Worst case scenario, I can just stall out the rain. But yeah, he's live warped, so there's basically no way of winning. And I think he has Aqua Jet instead of Super Power. So he doesn't even touch this guy. So Kabutop's gone. Like that game, like legit guys, that matchup should be really difficult. But because Ludicolo literally beats my whole team, aside from my Gyarados perhaps. The power whip, like Gyarados can live it. But I cannot switch into Ludicolo. He would pick off a Pokemon every time. That's why you shouldn't switch it in. If if a Pokemon is so strong against your opponent's team, I might be I might actually be queuing into him again. No, we don't. There is a Porygon on that side, which is something I didn't want to see. De definitely something I didn't want to see. Man. This is tough, because I see a lot of anti-lead Porygons. Yeah, th that's my biggest fear, him leading with Porygons. Yeah, exactly. Like, that, that shit feels so brain dead, bro. <laughs> just leading off like that. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw off my Sacred Sword. Probably Garchomp coming in. Let's see if it's defensive. 46. Looks to be defensive. I'm gonna go Surpair. Probably gonna throw up rocks or something. It just goes for Toxic. Um, I'm I'm okay with this. I want to punish him for going for rocks if he wants to stay in. Um, definitely would like to break through Tyranitar though. I even got a crit there. I would really like to break through Tyranitar, but considering that was a crit, he might be a salt pest. I barely miss out on the kill, but it's really good for Zapdos, which can be a menace into his team. But do I want to go for the kill here is the question. I might not want to do it. Maybe I can keep Superior as a second stack, because that's an Assault Vest or Renatar. So I'd rather take the Crunch with this. 72, the next Crunch could essentially do it, kill me. I'm gonna recover here. If he switches out something, we'll stick Sandstorm damage. And if he goes Rotom, I actually get to see. Um, if he has leftovers or not. If it's Willow Wisp, I can 1v1 him.
It's not the biggest deal if I get poisoned, actually. I'm gonna attempt to get a Scald off. Because there's nothing else he can do to me. And I can f fish for a burn on this. And if I get up rocks versus him, um, like there's nothing else he can do. So I'm going to try to set up the rocks here. It's not download on Porygon either. Plus if I get up rocks, um, he cannot freely go for rocks himself because he might want to debug for his Porygon. And this is what I mean because Tyranitar was going to die anyway and Tyranitar pretty much dies to my whole team. So I think... Since his guard jump is defensive, I can I think I can just sack my superior on this. Like we don't have a special law on this, and I don't want and maybe he's gonna go for trick, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> now Galate is faster, now Gar no Gyarados is not fast, but Zapdos might be faster. Oh, he actually lets me hit him. I thought he would sack Tyranitar. I thought he would sack Tyranitar, to be honest, but uh, I'll take it. Got some good damage on him. I'm gonna go Galate again. No, I actually don't need to Scarf on this, because uh, his Corrigan is... I mean, if he goes Garchomp here, I, I kill him. Into it, so maybe he's gonna sector Renatar now. I don't understand this, man. <laughs> if you want that Rocky Helmet damage on me so badly, that's fine. But I'm still alive, and Tyranitar is still dead. And now I have a free Zapdos. He doesn't. He also doesn't pursue me, so that's pretty nice. That is definitely choice ban. <laughs> that is choice ban, even with the crit, man. I'm gonna Volt Switch still. Like I could have roosted, but I don't want him don't want to give him a free Rotom, and now Um the Tyranitar is guaranteed dead, which is what I was looking for. Obviously, he can st he can bring in this Porygon now. I won't be able to. Well, I can kill him with Hurricane, but <laughs> that's a scary thought, man. That's a scary thought. I also might want to keep Scizor. Do I want to keep Scizor for Dragonite for the Bullet Punch end game? He has he still has his Rodom alive, so I don't think that's worth it. I can kill him with Hurricane, but that's a way too big of a risk to take. Do I actually need Gallade? Well, Gallade actually damages Rodom. If I ever get it in versus him. Yeah, I think Scizor is a bit worse. Because Gyarados can still intimidate Dragonite, click Ice Fang. Gastrodon is still full HP, so I think... Um, I think Gallade is better. I don't know if he has HP Fire. But I don't want him get. I don't want to give him a free uh, Rodom. So even if he killed me, I go Scizor next. I go Zapdos next, and then there's still nothing he can do about it. And I'll go Zapdos here. Like I just need Rodom to take a Volt Switch so I can knock him out with Power Whip, and now I get leftovers as well. But against Dragonite, we can Volt Switch into Gastrodon if. If he sets up a Dragon Dance, Gastron won't die from Phil and I can get off an... Uh, where does he go this? I can get off an Ice Beam. But if you go Scizor, we just click Heat Wave. And we miss. And we, and we just miss, you know. Uh, why did he click Pursuit though? Anticipating me to Volt Switch there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I get punished for making the correct play. It is what it is, guys. We get punished for making the correct play. 
But this is Willow Wisp. If, if he has Divok, he doesn't have Pain Split. So there are two two things I can do. I can utilize Galade here. But then he can get in Dragonite and get and potentially get up a Dragon Dance. I actually I think I can make the Galade play. I'll just use Trick. I'll just use Trick here. Because with Trick there's no way of outplaying me. I won't die to Volt Switch. And if he hard swaps into Dragonite, I trick him, but right now I can click Toxic on Dragonite, for example. If he Volt Switches. On the other hand, he could be Lumberry, so that's, um... Well, he went Scissor instead, so that's fine. And I just need him locked into Bullet Punch here, so at this point I don't care. And since he's locked, I go I go Gastronon because his Rotom is on a choice car. So he cannot he cannot keep the rocks off the field. The stealth rock has more PP than Deepog. So regardless of what he tries here. I can literally do this. Which is boring! Oh, he, okay, he just gives me a special attack boost. Um, if he defog, I, I can just spam defog till he runs out of PP. But now I can just click Scald. Even if Dragonite comes in, he comes in on rocks and I have a chance to burn him. But I really want to hit Scizor. For some good damage, so that's really nice. I'll just click recover here. As you turn onto me. Probably gonna bring in the Rotom again. Oh, actually goes Dragonite. <laughs> yeah, Gastrodon is a beast. He was leftovers as well. Yeah, we just get to attack where he cannot defend. Oh, he's he was he was even mixed with leftovers. Interesting. Or it was just specially offensive, but it doesn't matter because Dragonite is gone. And Scizor literally has one more attack in him, so I will just go zap. As he decides to forfeit, and we win this game. Um, I'm not sure if I should play another one. Um, like we've been playing a lot with this team, so um, it's really difficult to say. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long either. I actually have some other stuff to do, so I'm gonna end up this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the last game. This is literally gonna. This is this is really gonna be the last, uh, last, last game with this team, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. And if you want to try out this team, you can check out the. You can check out my Patreon. I have a guide on this team with the poker base for you to check out. Oh, and my cat jumped on my desk again. Hey, smooth boy. Always, always jumping on my desk, but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Dislike the video if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below if you have any requests or suggestions. Join our Discord server too. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.